Good morning, brothers and sisters. Hypocrisy is a spiritual cancer that could devastate lives and destroy ministries. In New Zealand, sheep herders there use specifically trained, castrated male sheep to lead other sheep from holding areas into the slaughtering room. Those male sheep are appropriately called Judas sheep. That illustrates the commonness with which we associate Judas with deception and death. Pretending to be a friend of Jesus, Judas betrayed him with a kiss and became for all time and eternity the epitome of hypocrisy. Several characteristics of spiritual hypocrisy are clearly evident in Judas's life. First, hypocritical people often seem genuinely interested in a noble cause. Judas probably didn't want the Romans to rule over Israel, and he saw in Christ an opportunity to do something about it. He probably had the common misconception that Jesus was immediately going to establish his earthly kingdom and put down Roman oppression. Second, hypocritical people demonstrate an outward allegiance to Christ. Many of those who followed Jesus in the early stages of his ministry deserted him along the way. Not Judas, he stayed to the end. Third, hypocritical people can appear to be holy. When Jesus told the disciples that one of them would betray him, none of them suspected Judas. Even after Jesus identified Judas as his betrayer, the other disciples still didn't understand. Judas must have put on a very convincing act. Fourth, hypocritical people are self-centered. Judas didn't love Christ. He loved himself and joined the disciples because he thought he could gain personal prosperity. And finally, hypocritical people are deceivers. Judas was a pawn of Satan, whom Jesus described as a liar and the father of lies. Is it any wonder that his whole life was one deception after another? Judas was an unbeliever. But hypocrisy can also thrive in believers if its telltale signs are ignored. That's why you must guard your motives carefully, walk in the Spirit each day, and immediately confess even the slightest hint of hypocrisy. God bless.